The cargo ship is the latest monument in Rust and, at the moment, is the only monument that is not stationary. So what kind of loot is there and is it worth it? Welcome to the Rust Monument Guide, where today I'll be telling you all the essentials you need to know about the cargo ship. The cargo ship is the only monument that isn't present at all times on the map. It only appears occasionally. There is no natural radiation on board, so if you're a naked guy with a rock, a torch, and big dreams, you can still try getting the crates. Just like the military tunnels, the cargo ship is also inhabited by scientists, so going there without a weapon is not recommended. Each time the ship appears, it goes around once, then halfway during its next lap, the horns sound and it will shortly leave the island. If you hear the horn, you should evacuate the ship immediately. To help you, the developers have placed a Rahib at the back of the ship, but you still need to bring your own fuel if you don't want to be stranded in the middle of the ocean. If you fail to leave the ship in time, the rapidly increasing radiation will quickly drain your health, leaving your loot in the middle of the ocean. In terms of loot, the cargo ship is a pretty unique monument. It is the only one that doesn't contain regular or military crates. The only crates it contains are Chinook crates. This monument contains two Chinook crates, with each of them taking a regular 15 minutes to hack. These crates are slightly better than regular Chinook crates. They have more chances of dropping higher tier weapons and items. The cargo ship doesn't have any services like recyclers, research benches, workbenches, or refineries. The only thing you could call a service is the Rahib located at the back of the ship. While your crates are unlocking, there are several nice camping spots to stop intruders from taking your loot. First of all, you can get inside this blue cargo crate and just shoot anyone who tries to go near the front deck. Also, there are these stairs, and stairs are like mirror windows from Rainbow Six Siege. You can see through them, but opponents cannot shoot you through it. So you can get the location of your enemies and just kill them by coming out from behind the stairs. Now for the most important question, is it worth it? My answer to that question is a definite yes, but only if you have sufficient gear to handle the PvP going down. If you get the crates, you will probably get high tier stuff, like AKs, rocket launchers, the LI-300, the M92, the L96, or an 8x scope. Thank you for watching this episode of the Rust Monument Guide. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like and subscribing. You do not know how much it helps a small channel like mine. Don't miss my next video on the launch site. And as always, thanks for watching.